Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another awesome math video. Uh, in this video, I am going to take you through uh, basically the same video as I just did, but um, it's using more of a, I'll call it a mathematical approach. So systematic approach. Um, I don't know if it's more mathematical, but it's definitely more systematic. And uh, my students like this because basically if they know how to do it, they never get it wrong. So uh, that's why you know I teach it to them, plus I teach them the way that I just did in the other video, which is sort of the logical approach. Um, so using a proportion, you're probably, the reason why my students love this is because they already did this in other aspects of other courses. So you've probably already seen this if you were doing like a uh, similar triangle. So if you have one small triangle, and then you had a big triangle, and let's say for example that you know that this was 5, and that this was 2, and you knew this was 20, and you were looking for this side. So it's kind of the same idea as using a scale factor, that this thing is, you know, a mini version of this guy. So this guy is just like blowed up by some scale factor. So, you know, in before you'd have to use like, you know, uh, write a uh, proportionality statement. So that proportionality statement, we'd match corresponding sides. So x corresponds to 2. So we'd say x over 2 is equal to 20 over 5. And you have this, basically it's like a mini equation that you need to solve. So then uh, all you would do basically is figure out that this is 4, multiply, cross, multiply, so you get x is equal to 8. And that's how a uh, conversion factor can work, exactly the same as that scenario. So let me just show you quickly how it could work like that. So if I have this situation where I have convert 20 yards to feet. So what I, all I need to know is that um, one yard is equal to three feet. So if I have one yard is equal to three feet, then I can I have all the information I need to be able to get this guy. So what I do is I'm looking for feet. So I make my proportion by starting with x feet on top. I know the answer I should get back is in feet. So I know that I have. I'm looking for x feet and I'm given 20 yards. So I take those two numbers and that's my first ratio. My second ratio comes from my conversion factor. So all I have to do is match the top and the bottom. So if I have feet in the top, I have feet here. So it doesn't matter the fact that this is yards to feet. It really doesn't matter that as long as I have a conversion factor. So I can say 3 feet over 1 yard. And then all I do is I just cross multiply. So 3 divided by 1 is 3. Then I just cross those numbers. So I get x is equal to 20 times 3, which will be 60 feet. Really, I know what you're probably thinking is like, why do I need all to do that I if I just knew how to multiply? Well, the reality is you don't have to. But um, when it gets a little more complicated, this thing like pays for itself. So the next thing I can do is I can use this guy. So I can use the conversion factors that one yard is equal to 36 inches. So knowing this conversion factor, I can set up a proportionality statement. So I'm looking for inches. So x inches over 20 yards. So the same start before. The only answer is I had feet over here and inches over here. And then I have 36 inches that goes on top. So I'm matching units. Inches along the top, yards along the bottom and then one yard. So basically what I have is my left proportion is always going to be from what I'm looking for and what I'm given and my right proportion or my right fraction whatever you want to call it is going to be from my conversion factor that I given on the test or that I need to memorize or whatever your teacher wants you to do. So that again all we do is just multiply those. So I end up with x is equal to 20 times 36, so I'm thinking that's going to be, uh, I don't know where my calculator is to, let me see. Again, I'm no mental math whiz, but I think it's 720. Yes. Nicely done. So that is in, we're looking for inches, that is in inches. So if you ever forget what you're going to get, that's why I write that. I know I want inches, because that's what I'm going to get. That's I also write inches here to know that i got to match the units up top. So whatever I'm looking for, it goes right there next to that X. All right, so that's the easiness of it. Now, let's go to a slightly harder example where um, we sort of have to do a little bit more, you know, method to it. 
So, I'm looking for 63 inches, and I'm going to convert it to feet and inches this time. So, like, uh, I can't convert this perfectly to feet because 63 is not divisible by 12. So, let's just see what I can do. So, I'm going to X. I'm going to feet first. X feet over 63 inches. And that's equal to, and my conversion factor from feet, from inches to, so it's one yard, no, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So then I can have one foot on top this time, and then over 12 inches. So all I gotta do is match my unit. So feet across the top, inches across the bottom. So let's see what else I got going on here now. So now I cross multiply. The only difference is you can see immediately why this is different. It's because I end up with 63 over 12. So I end up dividing 63 divided by 12. So the problem with that is, is that 63 is not divisible by 12. So if I, I can test that theory, 63 divided by 12, and it gives me back a fraction, I change it to a decimal, I get 4 point, or 5.25. So I know that 12 goes into that five times. So what I want to do is convert this to a, um, a mix, or sorry, a mixed number, but I want to use my sort of my logic as opposed to I know 0 0.5, 0 0.25 is one over four, um, which would convert to um, three over twelve. But I'll do a little bit more math now, so to show you where I get this number from. So if I go twelve times five, twelve times five, so twelve times the denominator it gives me sixty. So then I go sixty three, the top number subtract sixty, and I get three. So that's how much, that's how many, <clears throat> excuse me, inches are left over. Because what I have left from this is 3 over 12, which is actually the same as 0.25. And most of your guys' calculators can actually do this. I don't know if this thing can or not. Um, if I sh press shift, see what happens. There we go. 5 and 1 over 4. So I want this thing to be over 12, so I can multiply that fraction by 3 over 3 if I want it. So 1 times 3 is 3. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12. So that gives me, so let's interpret what the meaning of this thing is. So that means I have 5 feet and 3 of a possible 12 inches that I need to make an extra foot. So I don't have enough, I have 3 of those inches. So that's what I have. 5 feet, 3 inches. So this next question, I'm asked to go to yards first. So I can just, again, I can simply know the conversion factor between yards and inches. So 1 yard is equal to 36 inches. <clears throat> I'm just going to drink a coffee here. And um, so one yard is 36 inches. So X yards, <coughs> excuse me, over 63 inches is equal to one yard over 36 inches. So here's my, what I'm looking for, what I'm given, my, um, conversion factor. So then I just multiply these. So x is equal to 63 divided by 36. Then I'll just do the math. How many times does 36 go into this guy? So 63 divided by 36 and we get it goes in once. So now what I want to do is I'm going to convert this to a mixed number. So again what I want to do is take this number now it's only one and multiply this so then I know what that is is 36. So then I go to the top number, subtract what I get from doing that multiplication. So 63 subtract 36, I get 27. So what I have left is 27 inches out of a possible 36. So I don't have enough to push it up to the next yard. I have 27 of those. So what I have to do when I have a situation like that, when I have two things that I have to convert it to, is I have to take this 27 and then convert it to feet. So I'm going to take the 27 inches and go to feet. So that means I need the uh, conversion between feet, which is one foot, is equal to 12 inches. So I'm looking for x feet over 27 inches is equal to um, one foot over 12 inches. So let me just recap that for one second. So I did my division and I got the fact that I had one yard in that 63 inches. Not enough for another yard. In fact, I have 27 inches left out of a possible 36 to get an additional yard. So that 27 inches, I'm going to change the feet. So I have my proportionality statement uh, written here. So I use my conversion factor. So I'm looking for x feet 
So how many feet are in 27 inches? And then um, one foot over 12. So I can go x is equal to 27 over 12. And there are, that goes in twice. And so 2 times 12 is 24, so I go 27, subtract 24, so I go 2 feet times 12, so that's 24 inches. I had 27 to start with, so that means I have 3 inches left. So that's 3 inches out of 12 inches. So what that means is if I have 1 yard that we found, and then I have 2 feet, and then I have 3 inches left. And that is it. So guys, I know this is uh, these can be a little bit heavy duty, especially when you have to do all these fractions and things like that. But this will test your fraction ability. But remember, your calculators are a powerful tool. So trust them and make sure that you go through the process of converting between a mixed number to a whole or from a improper fraction to a mixed number. A really useful process. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class. Like, share, subscribe and uh, make me happy. Thank you.